Hello, welcome to CORE. We greet you in the matchless, miraculous, exalted name of the Lord Jesus Christ. And we want you to keep confidence in Christ. With all that's happening with pandemic, social unrest, uh, unemployment, food, needed, need, needing food and people who are struggling and people who are suffering, just keep your eyes on Jesus. He has promised he would never leave you nor would he forsake you and transfer all your troubles to him because he cares for you. He's going to work it out. Today, as we look at Philippians chapter 3, Paul takes a personal humani uh, uh, human note, amen, of where he is spiritually, psychologically, mentally, emotionally. And one of the things I love about Paul that, in, you know, in the first chapter, his emphasis in Philippians, of course, was the single mind. And we got to learn to be single mindedness because when we, when our mind is all over the place, we are in disarray. We are in, amen, uh, uh, a devastation, so to speak. He said, for me to live is Christ and to die is gain is better. Uh, and and so 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 Paul deals with the single mind, then he deals with the submissive mind in chapter two. Let this mind, your mindset uh, that was in Christ Jesus be also in you. That being amen, he was equal with God, but made himself of no reputation, took on the form of a servant. Hey, let, let this mind be in you. We have to humble ourselves and and not uh, uh, see ourselves as some superior, but inferior. Let this mind be in you, a mind of a servant, a mind of service, a mind of submission. Amen. And then he gets to the third chapter, and he's dealing with the spiritual mind. And, and it's interesting in verse 12, not as though I have already attended, uh, a, a, attained, not as though I've already reached perfection. Now, let me stop Paul's and Park. In our lives, we are reminded repeatedly of our humanity. We got a sin nature. We, 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 we find ourselves falling short. We find ourselves, amen, sinful uh, in our senses and not exactly portraying Jesus Christ. Well, Paul says, I have not yet attained. I love Paul for that. I have not yet attained. You have not yet attained. We are struggling in conflict between these two natures, our feelings and our faith, the word and our wills. We keep falling short. He says in verse 12 of chapter three, I have not yet attained. He says, either were already perfect. We're not perfect. Now, what is the benefit of us telling ourselves we're not perfect? Because we desire to be perfect, but we're not perfect. We desire to please the Lord. We don't always please the Lord. We need to stop, pause, and park and accept the fact I am nothing without him. I can do nothing without him. Amen. And see yourself as someone who's in the position, listen, of need and not know it all. We're in need for God's grace. We're in need for God's mercy. We're in need for God's help. We're in need for God's healing. Every day, blessed are they, Beatitudes, Matthew 5, that are poor in spirit, in spirit. When I see myself as nothing, God exalts me to be everything. So it's, it's a matter of perspective. Paul says, he says, we, we have not attained, nor are we perfect, but I follow after, listen, if that I may uh, apprehend that which, verse 12, also I am apprehended of Christ Jesus. Therefore, once I have a balance in my mentality, in my mind, therefore, listen, I count not myself to have apprehended perfection, but this one thing I do, forgetting those things that are behind. Now, let me stop pausing. What is behind? Failure, fractures. Amen. There are some things we want to forget that are behind. Forget them. 
They can't help you in the present nor the future. Don't put them on your U-Haul. Don't, don't drive them around. Don't let them follow you. You got to put the past in the past. Every day is a new day. Every day is a new faith. Every day is a new trust. Every day is a new trial. Every day, we got to go back to confession of sin. Every day, we got to ask the Lord to forgive us, to help us, to heal us, to lead us, to guide us, to direct us, to fulfill our needs. He says, the one thing I do is forgetting those things that are behind. No trailer. I'm not riding a trailer around. I'm not packing things in my trailer every day, letting it follow me. You only look in your rear view mirror when you're driving. You only glance there to see what's there. Your focus is always in front of you. And he says, the one thing I do is forgetting those things that are behind and, amen, reaching for those things that are before me. I'm constantly reaching for perfection. I'm constantly reaching for my peace. I'm constantly reaching for God's provisions. I'm reaching for my praise to Jesus. I'm reaching. I'm reaching. Look what he says. I press forward to the mark of the high calling, which is in Christ Jesus. In other words, I'm running a race and I'm running with an objective in mind. I'm living with objectives in mind. I'm, 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 listen, I'm following that which is perfected, Jesus Christ. I'm following his will, his way, his word, and his wisdom. I'm following him. I'm pressing forward. Let us therefore, as many as, listen, be perfect, mature, teleos is the Greek word, but be thus minded. And if in anything else, hallelujah, otherwise, let God reveal this even unto me. Paul is making a decision in Philippians chapter 3. Um, and, and, and in Philippians chapter 3, we call it the spiritual mind because he says, finally, my brethren, verse 1, amen. I want you to see this. Um, rejoice in the Lord. And again, I say rejoice. Paul is giving us a new mindset, not only the single and submissive mind, but in the spiritual mind, is to keep pressing. The spiritual mind is to forget the past. The spiritual mind is to let Jesus in. The spiritual mind is to trust and transfer all of your troubles to him. The spiritual mind is to wait on him. The spiritual mind is to work for him. The spiritual mind, amen, is to understand you and I are not perfect. We're not perfected, but we keep on pressing. No pressing, no blessing. We got to keep pressing for the mark of the high calling, hallelujah, that's in Christ Jesus. I want to press to be like Jesus in my attitude. I want to press to be like Jesus in my love for others. I want to press to be like Jesus in me forgiving others and being merciful. I want to press to be like Jesus, showing grace to people who need grace. I want to press to be like Jesus in waiting on him and believing his word, my faith, my faith has to be fortified. My focus has to be fortified. Even my fractures can only be fixed by him. I got to keep pressing to the mark of the high calling that's in Christ Jesus. And as you press and as you praise him, there will be a peace that passes all understanding. When you come to the place in your life, as I have in my life, I cannot please the Lord on my own. I will never reach where God wants me to be on my own. I have not yet attained. I have not yet apprehended. But this one thing that I do is forgetting those things that are behind me and pressing on to those things that are before me. There are some things today that are before you that God wants you to attain. He wants you to reach. He wants you to realize what's ahead of me, Lord. What is it you want me to reach 
What is it you want me to attain? What is it you want me, listen, to be part of? And that's you, your grace, your mercy, your peace. So every morning we get up, God has a will for you to reach, a way for you to go. Amen. And his word for you to be sustained with through Christ Jesus. This one thing I've learned to do, forgetting those things that are behind, my sins, my shortcomings, my sad moments, and I keep reaching, hallelujah, to those things that are before you. Let the Lord lead you and you not lead yourself. Let the Lord be your peace, your power, and your provision today. Give up and let God in. Jesus, I give up. I surrender all. Not my will, but may thine will be done. And Lord, whatever happens, amen, I'll accept it by grace that you're in total control of my life and my family's life. We thank you, we praise you, and we exalt Jesus Christ as you forget what's behind and press forward towards the head. God bless you. Have a great day. Jesus loves you.